So here we're going to go over what properties define good water. So for plants, we're typically wanting to irrigate with good water. Well, what does that look like? What does that contain? I'm going to go over some of those properties here. So starting with potable or drinking water. This is water that has a high cleanliness rating. This is the symbol for it. And what potable means, uh, not only can it be used for drinking, but it can also be used for cooking or food preparation. Tap water meets the drinking water standards, but this does not mean all water is the same. What this means is that just because it's drinking or potable, uh, that means you can drink it, but it doesn't mean that there's any set standards for exactly what it contains. There's certain levels um, that needs to meet to be defined as this drinking water, but there could be different levels of chlorine or chloridamide or other kind of properties in it that would still classify it as drinking water, but can have other adverse effects um, if you're looking at adding microbes, for example. So good water is critical. So again, what defines that good water? Well, potable drinking water, as I say, is a good start, uh, but you're also looking for properties such as has a neutral pH around 7, low EC or electrical conductivity, and minimal additives such as chlorine, because chlorine is going to kill some microbes uh, and could cause some other issues uh, with growing plants that would be perfectly fine, say, for drinking. So again, that drinking water, potable water is a good place to start, but these are some other properties you should be checking. There's something called gray water, and this is second grade water. It's not like perfectly clean, it's kind of got this grayish look to it. This is typically used for flushing toilets, but it can also be used for irrigation. So don't think you have to use potable or drinking water for irrigation. Gray water is often used for irrigation. However, if it is used, there can be risks associated with it. So it needs to be used uh, with caution, and in different situations it may be more advantageous than others. So it's good, whether it's drinking water, gray water, or whatever irrigation water you're using, is to get it tested. Good for multiple tests and multiple samples. Don't just take one test at one time and consider that good for uh, the entire year, for example. If you're using city water, you can get a report from the um, place where you get it from, the municipality. MDC, the Metropolitan District Commission of Connecticut, uh, is one in the local area here uh, that's great at providing testing. So the MDC... They prepare water quality reports annually, they provide summaries of past year's water quality, uh, they test um, about 130 potential water contaminants at reservoirs, treatment plants, 47 state approved sampling sites throughout 12 uh, town service areas. And they distribute an average of 50 million gallons of water per day to a population of about 400,000 located in the state of Connecticut. They've been great. I've personally just called them up and I was able to get a water sample report for water samples that they had pulled uh, the previous day in my local area. So again, reach out to where you're getting your water from if you are getting it um, from a um, from a tap water source. Uh, they can provide you with the reports, not only annual, but sometimes very current. You can also test it yourself to ensure that you have uh, properties that constitute good water.